Hello everybody and welcome to a new Planet Zoo DLC speculation video where we're going to be going through different ideas as to what the summer DLC could be and sprinkling in a, something that I'm thinking of for what autumn's DLC could potentially be. So in the past summer has been the time of the warm weather kinds of DLCs. So in previous years we've had Australia, we've had the Africa pack, the conservation pack, and most recently the arid animal pack all of which have somewhat of a warm theme to them and i think that will continue to carry on into the next summer so let's begin this summer speculating on what our next pack could be the first pack is the one that most people really want a latin america animal pack a animal pack sequel to the south america pack and giving us many of the last and highly requested animals from the region. So number one on the current meta wish list is the South American Kawasi, a relative of the raccoon and ringtail, as well as the kinkajou, that is widespread in captivity, defined by their mask, long snout, and their ringed tail. Our next animal is the specifically South American ocelot, as this is a larger subspecies and the one that is most notable with the yellow fur. It could just be generalized to ocelot to include the, the northern ocelot which inhabits Central America and Southern North America in places like Texas in the Sonoran Desert. And ocelots are by far the next most requested cat in the game as they are very beautiful in their pattern and yeah they're just a really cool looking cat and a favorite of many people. So the ocelot is definitely our main carnivore slot for the pack, followed by the black and gold howler monkey, a species that is one of the loudest primates on the planet and is also widespread in captivity, with notable sexual dimorphism between the, with the, the jet black males and the golden females. The sound would make a great addition to add another new world monkey to the, to the game. Another New World Monkey would be the Joffroy Spider Monkey, also known as the Black Handed or Central American Spider Monkey. They are the most widespread in captivity and out of this whole pack uh, is probably an animal I'd be the most excited about as Spider Monkeys have very versatile exhibits and I'd certainly love to build for one. And these guys would be the next brachiating animal that's not an ape for a change. So it'd be really good, cool to see what Frontier does with the Spider Monkey given that they also brachiate using their tail. Our next animal is the Spectacle Bear, a classic of the Andean Mountains, living in the, in the moist montane forests of the Andes, and are one of the last bears that we necessarily need in the game. Unique as they are the last of the short-faced bears, an ancient lineage of bears that dominated the Pleistocene. But this animal is also widespread in captivity and would make a very fun addition. The Greater Rhea is the continent's largest bird, and the last of the ratites that we that would complete the family in the game alongside emus, cassowaries, ostriches and kiwis. This would also go well with many grassland animals from the from the from the continent. And yeah, greater rears would be a great animal to see. Our last habitat animal is the Patagonian Mara, a very unique rodent relative of the capybara, and these guys are unlike most rodents. They have long legs built for roaming plains and these guys do live on open plains along the Patagonian steppe where they'll live alongside lesser rias as well as guanacos, vicuñas and a variety of other animals. And in zoos they are put with a lot of other animals too including the greater rhea but also animals like tapirs, capybaras, giant anteaters etc. For the exhibits I wanted to make this pack sort of inspired by the grasslands animal pack. So the exhibit animal is a walkthrough but there are five varieties and Latin America's most famous of their most famous birds are the macaws. So our five macaws that I have selected here are the scarlet macaw, the military macaw, the hyacinth macaw, the blue and yellow macaw and the red and green macaw. All species very widespread in captivity and are possibly the most famous of all the macaw species. These guys would make a great set of macaws to implement to the walkthrough exhibits and would be our first flying birds. Out of all walkthrough options I think the macaws were just a perfect addition to add. But let me know what you guys think of the Latin American animal pack. Are there any species that you would change? 
And yeah, if, if there's anything that else you'd like to add to this pack, sure, do leave it in the comments down below. Moving on to the foliage of the pack, we have the um, Piranha Pine of the highlands of the Piranha region in South America, the Butia Palm, which would be great for many Cerrado exhibits, the Canaba Palm, which would also be a great addition, and Pampas Grass, one of the most notable grasses from South America. For update features, Animal Remasters is certainly something that I have wanted to see in the game for a long time. We've got it with the Eurasia Animal Pack, with Frontier remastering the Malayan Tapir, but particularly many of the base game animals and animals from the first two years of support are species that certainly would need remasters in my personal opinion. I've selected a few here, the African Lion, the Red Panda, Bengal Tiger, Jaguar, Snow Leopard, the Grizzly Bear, the Bornean Orangutan, Timberwolf, American Bison, Bactrian Camel, the Red Kangaroo, Pygmy Hippo, as well as various others that I will show here, such as gharials, reindeer, saltwater crocodiles, cheetahs, wild dogs, cougars, hyenas particularly, koalas. The animal leopard could also be made to look less depressed somewhat. The warthog could also use a bit of a remaster, same with the doll, giving it that classic white-bellied variant, making the calves of the white rhino larger than they currently are, as well as making a more realistic looking gorilla a, potentially changing the face of the sand cat, giving the meerkat a more realistic look, as well as also changing the proportions and the shape of many of the largest land animals in the game, such as the hippos, rhinos, and the elephants. And also, potentially, since this is Latin America, giant anties, you could get a second look, and the Asiatic black bear is another species that could be made to look a lot better. And potentially even making the binturong much shaggier, as even though the current Binturong was already a remaster and is one of the best looking animals in the game, with the new shaggy um, hair textures that we've gotten in recent DLCs, I feel like that could be implemented onto the Binturong to bring it more in line with the real animal. Another update feature could be letting crocodilians rest underwater, as this is a staple behaviour of crocodilians and would be a great thing to see replicated in Planet Zoo with the gators, the caimans, and the crocodiles and gharials. Our next pack idea takes a somewhat more African focus in a way, as there are plenty of African animals in this pack to choose from. So our first animal is the iconic secretary bird, a notable bird of prey from Africa, largely terrestrial, nesting in trees, but it is also one of the most notable birds that, <coughs> that is wanted in the game that isn't a flying bird. This animal would be a great addition as it would also provide awareness to their endangerment. Goodfellow's tree kangaroos were a missed opportunity in the Oceania pack, although the clocker is still a great animal, the tree kangaroo would have been the better choice. In the equatorial animal pack, the tree kangaroo could be added. Of course, the Machi's tree kangaroo is a notable alternative. Cockerel safarkas are my personal favorite primate as they have such a unique method of movement and another lemur would certainly be a great surprise, particularly from a new family of lemurs. And they would just be such a cool animal just to watch. Hamadryas baboons as well, a very versatile primate as we do not have a true baboon. And Hamadryas baboons live in some of the largest family groups of any primate. These animals are also very common in captivity and make a great addition to the game. Southern Tamanduas are an animal from South America that I wanted to include in the Latin America Animal Pack, but I feel like the Mara was more deserving of that slot, as we do already have a, an anteater. But Southern Tamanduas, unlike the giant anteater, climb, and would certainly allow for another feature that we'll talk about later. The Blackbuck is an antelope from India and other parts of the Indian subcontinent. They're defined by the male's jet black and white appearance as well as the females having a more tanned appearance. They're one of the most sexually dimorphic antelope, with the females appearing tan while the males have spiraling horns. And of course, they can appear tan as well, as you can see in many zoo, live zoo examples. Honey badgers are the toughest animals in the world and would certainly be another great addition. There's certainly a lot of white in this pack, but the honey badger would certainly be another good addition. For exhibit animal, one of the most requested reptiles is a chameleon. Panther chameleons are by far the most colourful, and 
possibly the most famous of the chameleons too. And I think it's just about time that we got one of these incredible lizards added to the game. In terms of plant species, the, the equator has a whole variety. Plants such as the traveler's palm, the buffalo thorn bush, the jackalberry tree, the sickle bush, the bird of paradise, lemongrass, the cacao tree, the sal tree of India, the queen sago of Papua New Guinea, the Queensland umbrella tree, New Guinea tree ferns and camel thorn trees all would make great additions to existing animal habitats. For new for main new features, giraffe feeding would be a great um, improvement on the animal encounters as giraffe feeding is one of the most popular attractions at any zoo. And giving the pangolin the ability to climb would allow for a, a very successful render for the tamandua to be made as the, the tamandua and the Chinese pangolin move in very similar ways. Also giving the ability for Nile and Asian water monitors to climb would be another good step in the right direction. Now onto my autumn pack idea, the Pacific Northwest Animal Pack. The way the um, barnyard animal pack was structured gave me an idea as to how this one could work, as I couldn't really think of many suitable exhibit animals that would be impressive enough to warrant their place. So I thought, what if it was just seven habitat animals, a bit of scenery, and of course, an update feature. So let's have a look at the animals that I've selected. The North American black bear is by far one of the most notable land animals from the region, with several subspecies occupying the Olympic National Park, Vancouver Island, and various other notable locations. And they have just the most very color varieties of any bear, with bears appearing black, bears appearing white, brown, gray, all sorts of shades. And yeah, the North American black bear after the spectacle bear would just be the last bear that we necessarily need in the game. And then we have all the bear species. Sea otters are another notable animal of the region, occupying the kelp forests that dominate the coastlines of the Pacific Northwest. And these guys would be a great addition as they are one of the most notable um, wheat muster lids, <laughs> I should say, that is sort of necessary for the game. It's the most unique otter we could get. Elk are the, one of the largest deer from the region and would certainly make a great addition with their bugle-like call being an iconic um, symbol of many American uh, motifs. And this guy would be a great addition to many open plains exhibits. You could put them with bison and pronghorn and prairie dogs and all sorts of other animals. Northern elephant seals are possibly the most surprising pick for this pack. Even though they are from the region, elephant seals are generally thought of only living in the south, but the northern elephant seal does live on the American coast. So this guy would be a great addition as the largest pinniped in the game and even the walrus isn't bigger than this guy. And yeah, it would just be a good opportunity to add elephant seals into the game as I don't believe any southern elephant seals exist in captivity. And these guys are possibly the, the better choice of a pinniped that doesn't feel repetitive. Of course, other pinnipeds like stellar sea lions or harbour seals would be great too, but I feel like the elephant seal deserves a place here. Bighorn sheep as well as mountain goats are two capron varieties that are very famous from this region's mountains. Out, but out of the both of them, I thought the bighorn sheep was the most versatile, as these guys are found in a whole whole range of zoos, and they occupy a much, much wider range of habitats than the mountain goat. And this guy would be a great way to utilize the doll sheep rig, and I would just love to see this guy added. North American porcupines would be another great animal opportunity to show diversity. We do have an African crested porcupine that came in the arid animal pack last year, but new world and old world porcupines have various differences. For one, new world porcupines are able to climb, and I do think some old world can climb as well, but these guys are almost entirely arboreal. And this guy would be a great addition to really spice up the rodent roster. Our bird of the pack is the North American wood duck. There are of course various kinds of birds that could be picked for this pack, Canada geese, sandhill cranes, but I feel like the, it's about time that we got at least a duck species, and the wood duck is the most colourful in America, and I would just love to see this guy added to the game. Since this is inspired by the barnyard animal pack, a bit of scenery to relate to the region is of course necessary. Many cultural motifs of Native American cultures from the region would be a great um, spice up for theming as well as log cabin pieces those would also be great 
and even a coastal map with all, all these different pine trees to really make it a more immersive experience for the Pacific Northwest to be properly represented. Some foliage species that I came up with include the sea palm, the Pacific dogwood, the western sword fern, western hemlock tree, the giant kelp, the evergreen huckleberry, as well as rockweed, which would be a great, which would actually be a really cool foliage type to put over rocks to really give a sense of a coastal environment. This would be really cool to add to sea lion and sea otter enclosures. And yeah, I think it would just really add to the immersion. Some major update features could include realistic animal feeders. So having all of all kinds of types of animal feeders to add in that those would be fantastic. Like ha being able to put them on the barrier walls or and have the animals actually eat out of them. I think that would be a really cool feature to add. And yeah, it would just be cool to give our animals a variety of different ways to feed from their enclosures. Some new exhibit sizes would be great as well. Like just, just making them bigger and maybe even letting us uh, change the habitat that is in the exhibits as well. That would be really cool. And a smaller feature, zoo binoculars, just to give guests a much better view at, into larger enclosures. But that is all for this video. So these are my ideas for the summer and I guess for the autumn as well. Let me know what your thoughts are for future Planet Zoo packs in the comments down below and let me know what you think of these packs, whether you'd want them or not. And yeah, we'll see, have to see what happens and what Frontier is working on because we do know it's an animal pack, that is why they are all animal packs. So yeah, enjoy the anticipation for the next Planet Zoo pack and we'll see if it surprises us and maybe it could even be one of the ideas I put here. But as for now, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.